Okay, fine. Just pick got, one market and kick the shit out of it. Kick the shit. New York. You know, he pull all kinds of ads from New York. He, he does well local ads in L.A. And I think that that probably, there wasn't, Jade, I answer you, there wasn't a strategy in terms of sales. There was no strategy in terms of affiliation. You've got to go into an affiliate and say, well, is this the right kind of station? Are you guys cuming anybody? Are you cuming the demographic? What's cuming mean? Meaning, are there enough people listening around the clock? Not, not, cumulative not, listeners? Cumulative listeners. Thank in other you. words, a quarter hour is people, now we got this goddamn PPM, but a quarter hour What's is basically PPM? people meter. Okay. Haven't you? Haven't they been beating your brains in? I that? totally act you like don't. I'm listening and I don't. You know. Okay. Um, Allegedly, I don't know what it's about either. But uh, uh, people hours, people that stay and listen to you for 15 minutes, as opposed to a guy that turns on Jay Moore and then goes to another station. The guy that turns you on and goes to another station is the cum. That's who you need a, a good number of that. I was told a new audience comes in every 11 minutes. Every 11 minutes, think of an exactly duplicate audience, and the other one left because they had things to do. That may be so true. So that's why you got to keep playing the clips at the top of the hour at half, yeah. half, half. Like, this is what happened. Or last hour, this happened. And I've taught terms like you got to work horizontally and you mm-hmm. have to work vertically. Vertically, vertically, as you know, is uh, through the show. Last hour, this happened. Next hour, this is going to happen. This is where I was. This is where I'm going. Horizontally is tomorrow. Uh, Sylvester Stallone will join us. And yesterday, you missed this. It's all Now, who told you these Don days? Martin, the King of Kings. Oh, Don's a good guy. Don likes you a lot. Yeah, Don's a good man. Uh, I was going to say, if it was anybody else, we'd probably be able to talk for a half an hour about them. You got a Don Martin impression? I do not, no. If you want to make good radio. (laughs) What's he, Paul Lind? (laughs) What's it sound like to me? He's Matthew McConaughey in 10 years. Okay. If you want to make good radio. Chemistry. Chemistry. You got to have chemistry. (laughs) You're the steak, man. All these other little batches, they're, they're just <laughs> spices. <laughs> spices and seasoning. And I think we got a lot of lawbreakers in here tonight. All right, all right, all right. Once you hit that local number, okay, the world's your oyster. <laughs> but you can't mess with the clock. Yeah. The clock is corporate. You kill the affiliates, man. You kill them, buddy. Yeah. Seasoning. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, Don Martin had very nice things to say about you. With these words that they drop in and you don't know what they mean. Seasoning, remember that. You're the steak. Everything, all the sound effects, seasoning. Seasoning. Chemistry. Yeah. My first meeting with Don Martin, uh, we sat down. It was me. It was a tech Don, guy. I a job. There is a good one. <laughs> that an executive producer, and uh, he literally goes, uh, and, you know, Don, I like Don. He taught me. He literally taught me what I know about radio. There's been no other voice in my head. So if you like Jay Moore Sports on Fox Sports Radio, he's the reason why. Uh, he goes, he goes. There's only one way. <laughs> Chin's pointed out a little bit. Cufflinks. There's only one way. The cufflinks. <laughs> I'm not a suit and tie guy, man. Cufflinks. That's what I do. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> Shit, man. I was in Denver for 15 years. Talk to me what? about Peyton Manning going to the Broncos, buddy. <laughs> There's only one thing. That's going to keep you guys all on the same page. You all use his brain. (laughs) But at the end of the day, there's only one thing that makes a radio show fly nationally. Long, Phil, when I tell you it was a 60 second pause, (laughs) I'm telling you it was fucking 60 seconds. 60 seconds. And I fought every urge because I'm the new guy. Yeah. And I knew it. And then finally he just goes, chemistry. (laughs) That makes it happen. For 60 (laughs) seconds. (laughs) <laughs> it makes it happen naturally. Huh? For 60, 60 seconds, seconds, I fought the urge to go, chemistry? Because <laughs> I knew what he's going to say. But with you, but I will say this, anything that I'm doing correctly with corporate as I suck happily from the corporate teat, sure. I could not possibly be happier. Anything I'm doing right in that structure, the content, obviously, I think of and I make jokes, but all that clock and time and vertically and horizontally, tell me where you were, tell me where you're going. Don sat me down with the playbooks. Said, this is what's expected of you. Yeah. And uh, he did a good job. He you got to have that. You gotta, I had a guy, David G. Hall. They are all good with the methodology. And that's that's what a good PD does. He he makes what you do well. He tries to support it by giving you the 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 formatic structure. That's important. It really is. Uh, as long as they're not telling you, you know, the joke you told, that wasn't funny. Yeah, Where, that's... How do you... Who told you it wasn't funny? Get out of here, you know? Anybody working with comics, any industry person, yeah. any radio, any television, any movie people who listen to this podcast, anybody out there, the moment you think you have a say in anything creative, it's over. It's over. 
It's fucking over. Because that comic for the rest of his life is going to go, can you fucking believe, believe that, that happened to us on more sports on ESPN? We would edit... It was Bob Morton, 18 Emmy nominations for doing David Letterman. Knows a little about comedy. Robert Morton's over there? Yeah. Me and all my friends, a bunch of pothead comics, putting the show together, editing the monologue to time, taking out the bad shit, keeping the good shit, keeping the laughs. We put in the satellite for ESPN, and this guy, Mark Shapiro, would call us. We'd watch the show that night. And the monologue was different. They would re-edit it in Bristol, Connecticut. Oh, God. And then when we called the next day, no. aghast, he'd go, just wasn't funny. Oh, bullshit. Just wasn't funny, guys. God, do you love that, man? Jesus. And uh, Mark I, lost, Shapiro. I lost a lot of money. I called him a cocksucker on the Tonight Show. Well, that's good. How did you lose money? Because uh, uh, <laughs> anything worth millions. Dis- Disney is a very large corporate entity, yeah. ABC and ESPN. So well, anything uh, that may, I was going to do a commercial for ABC during the Sugar Bowl for a, con- a couple okay. hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Aired once, it nope. would only air, and he just goes, no, no. And he's got a lot of friends. He's got a lot of this uh, guy Shapiro. Now he's running Six Flags uh, with somebody. Well, that's good for him. That sounds like a good job. Yeah. Let's keep yeah. it light. I want to go back to Bobby Dooley. <laughs> Let's keep it light. Well, you yeah. should Bobby Dooley. Can you do you think you can keep a straight face with Bobby Dooley? Well, this is Maddie. Hold, hold Hi, on, Maddie. though. He's going to need a mic. Do you mm-hmm. think you can be? But if you keep a straight face, then people are going to think it's not funny. So I need well, you to fake laugh as much as possible no. for Bobby Dooley. We, fake laugh or, or keep it straight? It's not a look. I don't think you can keep it straight. Isn't that just the cutest little dog? Now, what did they make those dogs for? The, they, what the, they don't make them, they breed them. They breed them. That, well, that's what I mean. Did they breed Bobby, what's your husband's name again? Steve. Steve. Hi, Miss Moore. I, I Steve, I didn't even know you were here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was over uh, looking at the dog and everything. That's a Yorkshire Terrier. They're English and British. Okay. Here, mm-hmm. I've heard of those kind. Oh, look at, oh does it bite? Sometimes. Because if it's it does, food. it bites food. What about the rabies treatment? It Is there a clinic? Is there rabies. urgent care? For rabies? Mm. I think for... I know. Steve, what about the urgent care? They closed them all. Reagan closed them down. Oh, Reagan closed down the urgent cares. Reagan from the exorcist? From the exorcist. That uh, was the girl. No, name. that was the president. The president. Oh, President Reagan. And no, was, that, a, was, he, was he an exorcist? Ra- You're kidding, right? Was he in that? Because I know that President Reagan was an actor. No. And he didn't play a priest. No. You're, you're he thinking- played the, de- the voice of the demon. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, the girl, the exorcist. Mm-hmm. Her name was Reagan in the movie. Oh, I was making a joke. I, I knew you meant President I Reagan. What I you, knew. What's yeah. your husband's name? Steve is my husband. Steve and honey. You know, you don't make much of an impression. Well, I just, I'm in landscaping. He's in landscaping. What does that mean? Oh, Sunbird. He does the Sunbirds. Yes, honey. Do you do the. the well, the Cunnington sisters. Uh, he put it in for the Cunnington sisters. They live up the hill. Aren't you handsome? Is this Maddie? Maddie boy, yeah. Isn't he, he's he a handsome. very handsome sound tech man. And I have a son, Dylan, and another son, Seth, and another son, Justin. And, and no, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Um, I can see his eyes are shifting around. And that's the way a lot of the young people look when they come to our home. The eyes shift about. And I'll say to Steve, put your pants on. And I'm only kidding about that. Okay, so he doesn't understand. Are you allowed to laugh in your home? Do your parents... You talk. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm trying not you know, to laugh this whole time. Maddie, uh, why you, why how old are you? Why don't you come and play with Bob- our sons? <laughs> wait, wait. Bobby Dooley might find uh, a young, handsome sound tech kind of fascinating because he's a nuts and bolts guy. This is out of Bobby Dooley's wheelhouse, mm-hmm. right? So it is. This is Maddie. Oh, Maddie. This is Maddie Boy, our sound tech for we More need Stories to Podcast. Have, and I can tell you what we need to have, Maddie. We need to have Steve. Don't we need to have? Got to have like a, te- a tech, a, an, en- an, en- an engineer, and everything. We do have to have a man that knows about the volume, and everything. Volume of the the the, the, the you know the radio the pod the podcast. Right? Okay, okay, because a lot of them have been coming out really loud. I noticed it, and I said to Steve, "You know why it's not good? Because you have a loud voice. Everything's just all la 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 la." And I. Uh, and we were listening to Sammy Davis Jr. coming over here. He yells really loud in the song, but it doesn't come out bad. Remember that, Steve? He goes, what kind of fool am I? I'm sorry, but I don't know how it's done. Well, I think it's because they, they, they turn it down. Do how do you turn it down and make it loud? If I may. Maddie, why, why don't you explain how the levels work to Ms. Bobby Dooley? Well, when, he, when he goes, what kind of fool am I? And it's really loud, and yet you can't... It's not being loud. 
on um, on the volume uh, knob, a lot of times there's on a the neg- volume knob. There's Steve. a negative one or a right negative down two. Knob. Right down the knob. No. And you need to turn it. You need to turn it uh, to the appropriate levels. Right. First of all. Okay. And then uh, you can go through. Now and- is the knob the one that goes up and down? And when I said that to Steve, what about the one that goes up and down? He's all, Duh-huh-huh. he's making his man joke. Right. Which I. You Which know, is unfair. I know we're talking business. Well, then don't do the whole. <sighs> Knobs, knobs can be the twisty, or they can be the up and down. He's making his jokes again. Yeah, knobs. I don't understand. All right, so the knobs, and we're not talking about breasts. We're talking about penises. Oh, my God. All right, so, okay, I'll play. I'll bite, as my father used to say. Oh. So the volume knob is the penis. Correct. And the, what's the breasts, then? That's, the, that's also a Oh, no, I know. The penis is the thing that goes up and down. Okay. Now... When it comes out sounding bad mm-hmm. and not funny mm-hmm. and everything, what's wrong with it? Steve, you, do you know? Well, I'm, I, I had my opinions and you... Well, I dismissed them and I'm, now I have Maddie. If it sounds bad and your neighbors... I called over uh, Carolyn Betham Hutchum, who's a very dear friend of mine. And I said, Carolyn, is this good? And she goes, oh, it's bad. It, 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 she says it's bad. It's really bad sounding. And I said, but why? She said, I, because maybe you need an engineer to tell you about the knobs. The knobs. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's really when it comes down to is all See? about the knobs. Steve? Mm-hmm. Mm. So let me get the knobs. But tell tell <laughs> her for real how you actually balance the sound. Like if someone's yelling and yelling. When you edit you, the podcast, you have to do the levels. Yeah. Tell her the real way without any jokes. Okay. I, I, I have to oh, listen so to the, the whole podcast. Oh, so the penis pi- line is not a radio. Okay. It's not an actual radio okay. term. They don't say, okay, Bob, grab the penis, and everyone's going to might make fun of you about no it. One is named I Bob see. No one's named Bob. Well, any engineer named Maddie. Yeah. Uh, I have to I have to air check the entire episode and make sure that uh, mm-hmm. nobody pulls the mic away or nobody mm-hmm. bumping the mic mm-hmm. and then uh, I go through mm-hmm. uh, each mm-hmm. segment mm-hmm. and and I and I cut it up mm-hmm. to uh, the appropriate levels with knobs with the knobs with the knobs all right and then um, See, I, Steve I, I, yeah. can, I can at the end I can put it through a uh, mm-hmm. I, I can put it through a program that helps me okay so it's now i don't understand it but i I, you know how to do it yes can you come to our house and do ours sure or do you have to stay here at the jay moore house i can come to your house oh great oh great steve what about you can be alone with a guy and everything you're not oh god that's he thinks you're gonna rape me a lot of and 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 nowadays you you have to worry about that you're a very attractive woman you are oh aren't you sweet aren't you kind you are would you like any lemonade would I like your what? Lemonade. Oh, would I like lemonade? Sure. I don't think so. And I don't usually eat or drink at other people's homes because you don't know what... Grape. You don't know what happened sure. to the... Mm-hmm. Well, you don't know what happened to the food and what's in it, you know? There's Lemons. nothing wrong with it. Lemons. Well, I know, but what about the man? Well, the guy peed in it. The guy peed in... You know, people pee in the drinks and things. So, all right. But no, I, nothing against your home and your, and your hospitality. But if you urinated in the lemonade, and I don't think you did... I'm looking at you. I've got a good sense about you, Maddie. I, at first, I was worried. At first, I thought of a lot of bad things. Yes, dear. Do you think my episode? Yes, dear. Of uh, mm-hmm. the Bobby mm-hmm. Dooley podcast mm-hmm. came out well. Bobby Dooley podcast. Bob, what is it? The Bobby Dooley podcast. Do you think my mm-hmm. episode came out well? Do you think we were, we worked well together? I think we did a great job, and I loved the. I loved the uh, the way that we just freeformed it. I think is what they say, don't they, in the entertainment world? Well, I haven't heard that. Oh, I freeformed it, and somebody said to me, Car- uh, Carolyn and Janice Ripley came over, and we were having. Uh, Janice brought a box of wine, and I'm trying to get her to bring over bottles. Um, you know, do they drink? Do you drink boxes? You don't uh, do that. Juice boxes. I have children. Oh, okay. Okay, they drink a box of wine. Oh, no, you do just a box of juice. Well, anyway, she brought into... over a box, Sorry. and we were, and I said, you know what? I we freeformed it. She said, mm-hmm, I said, yeah. And so I said, I'd like you to hear it, but I don't have the tape recording of it. They have it at another place. So when we hear it, I think you were great as we freeformed it. And about going to Oakland, that's really going to be interesting. 
It's going to be see. very interesting for you, Bobby. Yes, because – and I'm sitting in the seat. I go, what does he mean? He says, well, you're going to see it. I said, no, because all I'm going to see is the vinyl of the back seat, the door of the motel, the hair on a black man's leg. A quarter hour is people – now we got this goddamn PPM, but a quarter hour What's is basically – What's a PPM? People meter. Okay. Haven't you – haven't they been beating your brains into I that? I totally act you like don't. I'm listening and I don't. You know, okay. Um, Allegedly. I don't know what it's about either, but uh, uh, quarter meter. hours – People that stay and listen to you for 15 minutes as opposed to a guy that turns on Jay Moore and then goes to another station. The guy that turns you on and goes to another station is the cum. That's who you need a, a good number of that. I was told a new audience comes in every 11 minutes. Every 11 minutes, think of an exactly duplicate audience and the other one left because they had things to do. That may be so true. So that's why you got to keep playing the clips at the top of the hour at half, yeah. half, half. Like, this is what happened. Or last hour, this happened. And I've taught terms like you got to work horizontally and you mm-hmm. have to work vertically. Vertically. Vertically, as you know, is uh, through the show. Last hour, this happened. Next hour, this is going to happen. This is where I was. This is where I'm going. Horizontal years. Okay. <laughs> if you want to make good radio, chemistry. Chemistry. You got to have chemistry. <laughs> You're the steak, man. All these other little batches, they're, they're just <laughs> spice, <laughs> spices and seasoning. And I think we got a lot of lawbreakers in here tonight. All right, all right, all right. Once you hit that local number, okay, the world's your oyster. <laughs> Not only is tomorrow, uh, Sylvester Stallone will join us. And yesterday, you missed this. It's all Now, who told you? These Don things? Martin, the king of kings. Oh, Don's a good guy. Don likes you a lot. Yeah, Don's a good man. Uh, I was going to say, if it was anybody else, we'd probably be able to talk for a half an hour about them. You got a Don Martin impression? I do not, no. If you want to make good radio. (laughs) What's he, Paul Lind? (laughs) (laughs) That's it sound like to me. He's Matthew McConaughey in 10. Okay, fine. Just pick one market and kick the shit out of it. Kick the shit. New York. You know, he pull all kinds of ads from New York. He, He does well local ads in L.A. And I think that that probably, there wasn't, Jade, I answer you, there wasn't a strategy in terms of sales. There was no strategy in terms of affiliation. You've got to go into an affiliate and say, well, is this the right kind of station? Are you guys cuming anybody? Are you cuming the demographic? What's cuming Meaning, are there enough people listening around the clock? Not, cumulative not, listeners? Cumulative listeners. Thank in other you. words, 